Q-cells, Maxion, or REC. Who has the most efficient solar panels for your home in 2024? I'm gonna be answering that question and teaching you all about solar module efficiency in today's video. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're talking about the most efficient solar panels for your home in 2024. Uh, and I should emphasize, these are for your home. Solar panels that are designed for residential rooftop installation, which are the most efficient panels that you can get as we're now midway into 2024. Now, when we talk about solar panel efficiency or solar module efficiency, what we're talking about is what percentage of sunlight that hits the surface of the solar module is actually successfully captured and converted into usable electricity. Uh, you see, a vast majority of the sunlight that hits the solar panel surface uh, actually is not converted to electricity. A lot of it gets reflected away. Um, some of it will actually pass through the solar cell, pass through the solar module. Um, some of it gets lost as heat in the conversion process. So what we're talking about is of the amount of sunlight or of the amount of photons that hit the surface of the solar panel, what percentage of that is actually converted into moving electrons, i.e. electricity, electrical energy, that can then be captured and used within the home. Now, there are two other metrics that we wanna look at as well when we talk about efficiency of solar panels. The first is degradation rate. And when we talk about degradation rate, you know, solar panels, as they age, they lose a little bit of their performance. And so the degradation rate is the percentage of performance that is lost each year as the solar panels age. Now, a standard solar panel is gonna lose about half a percent of its performance per year. Uh, a premium solar panel is gonna lose closer to a quarter of a percent per year. So that's sort of the range between a quarter of a percent and a half a percent. And of course, the lower that number, the better, because that means you're having less loss, which means the more total energy harvest you'll have over the lifetime of your system. And then the other factor we have to look at is temperature coefficient. And this is particularly important for those of you who live in very hot climates like Phoenix, Las Vegas, parts of California, where you have extreme high temperatures on the rooftop, what the temperature coefficient tells us is how much of the percentage of performance is lost due to having to operate at extreme temperatures. And it's measured in a percentage per degrees Celsius or per degrees Kelvin above the ideal temperature. So that's what we're gonna be looking at today, module efficiency, degradation rate, and temperature coefficient. And with that, let's get into the lineup. All right, coming in at number three is the new REC Alpha Pure RX 470 watt solar panel. Now, as you can see on the data sheet here, the Alpha Pure RX 470 has module efficiency of 22.6%. Uh, and by the way, anything over 22%, I would consider a high efficiency solar module. So at 22.6%, the REC Alpha Pure RX is well within that range. And I think what you're gonna find is that REC has a good balance of high efficiency, but still being a cost competitive product. Yes, you're gonna pay a premium to get an REC Pure RX panel uh, compared to a more mass production panel, but the premium that you're going to pay is less than some of the other panels that we're gonna show you on the lineup here. Now, of course, one of the things that also sets REC apart from standard solar panels is its 25 year ProTrust warranty. Now, just about all tier one solar panels come with a 25 year warranty, but what REC's warranty does is they guarantee the labor on your solar panels as well. So let's say one of your solar panels is malfunctioning or it's underperforming, and the contractor that did your original installation went out of business or for whatever reason, they're, they're not able to service the warranty and make repairs, uh, REC will, at their own expense, hire another contractor to come out and replace the defective solar panel for you. By the way, in this last year, we've had a lot of shakeup in the solar industry, including over 100 solar company bankruptcies in the previous year. So if you haven't seen our previous video on solar market shakeup, go back and watch our previous video where I explain a number of the factors leading to the high solar business failure rate so that you can hopefully avoid these problems and make sure you're getting set up with a reliable contractor. Now, there's a couple other factors that the REC panel is known for, and it's those two metrics that I mentioned earlier, temperature coefficient and degradation rate. Now, if you look at the data sheet here, you'll see that the REC Alpha Pure RX has one of the lowest degradation rates in the industry at only a quarter of a percent per year. And the panel is guaranteed to produce at least 92% of the initial rated power in year 25, which is the, the terminal year of the warranty. So again, when you have a panel with a low degradation rate, it means that the, the, the losses due to aging are gonna be lower, which means you have more total energy harvested over the lifetime of the system. 
And so again, as you're calculating your potential return on investment, you really wanna look at what is total energy harvested over the lifetime of the system compared to the initial investment that you're considering making. And then of course, REC also scores very well in the area of temperature coefficient, only losing 0.24% per degree Celsius above the ideal temperature. Now again, this is gonna be especially important for those of you who are in extremely hot climates, a solar panel with a low temperature coefficient is gonna perform better for you in those extreme high heat conditions, and again, produce more usable energy over the lifetime of the system. So this is the REC Alpha Pure RX 470. By the way, if you're having solar panels installed on your home, or if you recently had solar panels installed on your home, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let us know which brand and which model you went with and what your experience has been so far. All right, coming in at number two on the list is the Canadian Solar Top HiQ6 470 watt panel. Now, as you can see here on the data sheet, this model panel uh, provides 470 watts of power and module efficiency up to 23%. So what that means is, although it has the same power rating as the previous solar panel we just viewed, it's able to achieve that power with a slightly smaller surface area, a slightly smaller footprint. And that's really what module efficiency comes down to is, is how efficient is the solar panel at converting usable surface area to usable electricity. And so those are typically the, the cases where we look at getting a high efficiency panel or perhaps investing a little bit more uh, cost in acquiring a higher efficiency panel is when we have to produce more power out of a limited roof space. So as you can see here with the Canadian Solar Top High Q6, you've got higher module efficiency at 23%. Okay, so the next is the degradation rate, which you can see here, degradation rate is guaranteed to lose no more than 1% performance in the first year, and then no more than 0.4% per year after that. Now that's not as low as REC's 0.25% per year. So in the area of degradation rate, I wouldn't say that this is really a top performing panel. And then finally, in terms of temperature coefficient, you can see that the top high Q6 loses 0.29% per degrees Celsius. So you're losing 0.29% of your power output for each degree Celsius above the ideal temperature. So again, slightly lower than how REC scored in the previous presentation, but in terms of overall module efficiency, the Canadian Solar Top High Q6 ranks number two on this year's lineup. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Revolt. If you're looking for an all-in-one pre-assembled solar and energy storage system, then you need to take a look at the new Revolt Home Power Plant. The Revolt Home Power Plant is a complete solar and battery system incorporating an outdoor rated enclosure, solar inverter, battery storage, climate control, AC and DC disconnects, and a full 200 amp AC load center. The system is pre-built and factory integrated, so you can keep on-site work to a minimum. With Revolt, you'll never have to build another battery shed. So if you're serious about taking your solar and storage installations to the next level, then you can visit the Revolt website where you can customize your system and place your first order right away. And then finally, coming in at number one is the Maxion 7 445 watt solar panel. Uh, as you can see on the data sheet here, we've achieved module efficiency of over 24%. Um, however, they do use this black frame, white back sheet aesthetic, which some homeowners don't like that look. They, they prefer a true all black, black panel. But in this video, we're just looking at efficiency. And so in terms of a residential solar panel that you're gonna be able to get installed from a top tier installer, uh, from a tier one company with a, with a 25 year or longer warranty, the Maxion 7 is at the top of this year's lineup. Now, in terms of degradation rate, Maxion also has an exceptionally low degradation rate of only 0.25% per year. So again, the lower that degradation rate, the less the panel is gonna be affected by aging, which means more total usable energy harvested over the lifetime of the system. Another area where Maxion stands out is its 40 year warranty. Now, most tier one solar panels come with a 25 year warranty. Maxion comes with a 40 year warranty. Uh, and I believe they also guarantee labor and service on their warranty as well. Now, of course, the warranty is only as good as the company who issues it. Uh, in the past, SunPower and Maxion, when they, they used to be one company, then they went through some sort of like a bankruptcy restructuring. Now they're operating as two separate companies, SunPower doing sales and install, Maxion manufacturing the solar panels. 
Uh, but as it exists today, they are offering a very strong 40 year guarantee. And in terms of temperature coefficient, the Maxion 7 boasts a very low 0.27% per degrees Celsius. So it's not quite as low as the REC panel in this particular area, but still overall a very low temperature coefficient, which is going to help for those of you who are in areas with extreme high heat. So this is the number one most efficient residential solar panel for 2024. However, folks, in most cases, the solar panel efficiency is not necessarily the most important metric that you wanna look at. Because oftentimes when you, when you look at investing in some of these high efficiency solar panels, the price premium you pay may be significantly higher than the additional energy yield that you're going to experience. So for example, it's, it's not uncommon if you're getting quotes, a quote for a Maxion based solar system might be overall 15 to 20% higher cost than using more of a mainstream high production solar module, but it, it may only yield you 5% more energy. So you do have to consider what's, what's really your main goal here. Is it to get the best dollar for dollar return on investment, uh, or do you just wanna have the most efficient panels, even if it means paying a disproportionate price premium? Uh, by the way, if you need some help talking through these issues, if you're in the process of evaluating solar power or battery options for your home, uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below, set up a call with a solar expert, uh, or just use our free online quote tool to see how much solar and storage costs in your area. Now, of course, none of this really matters if you connect your solar panel to the wrong inverter system. So if you haven't seen our previous video on how to choose the best solar inverter, make sure you check that out because it's really the inverter system and the inverter platform that's gonna have the most impact on features, functionality, reliability of the system, and also how you monitor the system so you can see what's going on. Well, that pretty much does it for today's presentation. Um, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with us. Well, I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.